Where is it? Like, sit it out. The whole, the whole world will see it by the morning. Really? How annoying. The world needs to know what was on that. And you think so? Do they? Uh, trust me, young man. It's better that they don't know. They're going to see it by the morning. By the morning! It'll be a joke! Another internet hoax! No one will believe! But it is real! <laughs> see? Even you will begin to doubt. Farewell, young man. And, by the way, do you have any relatives in California? Yes? Suggest they relocate. <laughs> Wait. Please tell me what the JJ happens. I know it was real. I, I... I send you what I saw. You decide. Greetings, citizens of Romsonopolis. I hope that this emergency public service notice finds you happy, healthy, and safe. The reason for this announcement is to make you aware of a piece of legislation that was passed earlier this morning by Congress. This piece of legislation deals specifically with a mandatory death sentencing. There are a list of crimes that if convicted, you will be put to death. It is imperative that every citizen of Romsonopolis get this list, study it, and spread the word. As you know, for years I have fought against death sentencing. I stand outnumbered. Learn the law. Save a life. Greetings, Romsonopolis. Today is April 26, 2044. And I have a guest with me today that will be of most interest to my female viewers, the most eligible bachelor in Romsonopolis, Mr. Joseph Landis. And you have to bring that up. Of course, it's news. If it's on the back page of the Romsonopolis Post, it's news. Really? My personal life is news? Not everything can be doom and gloom, Mr. Landis. Well, yes, but this is all really a distraction. So we've been working on some very important issues at City Hall. Right. I know that the mayor is going is taking on the president about uh, capital punishment issues. Yes, yes. The mayor has been uh, very concerned about this issue ever since the list of uh, the mandatory death sentences has been released. Okay. Over the past four years, uh, 28 prisoners have been executed per day in the Robsonopolis Correctional Facility alone. Mm. That's 672 per day nationally. Mm. Why? Because of lack of funds? No space to build new penitentiaries? Right, and that's kind of what this has been about, the argument has been about mostly, is cost. Human life is precious. And we cannot be executing people for crimes that were committed largely because of the collapse of the economy, mm -hmm. or because of overpopulation in our mega cities. Yeah. We have to find a new way, new funds. Such as? Crown Industries, for example. Take the funds that finance their work and turn that facility into a minimum security facility. This is an immediate measure we can take that will alleviate some of the strains on our penitentiary resources and uh, save lives. Krell Industries, the genetics lab. Yes, Richard Krell has, uh, sorry, Dr. Richard Krell mm -hmm. has facilities in Kansas City and three other cities. The Rosenopolis lab has become redundant. But doesn't Dr. Andrea Frazier work there? Uh, who? Um, Sorry. Uh, one second. Who? No. 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 Sorry. Okay. Um, who is this? Mr. Landis? What? 
it turns out you're not as eligible as was reported. Yes. So do you know this woman? My viewers are dying to know. We've seen you, you in pictures with her. Yes, well, if I tell you who it is, can we get back to some real news? Yes. Very well. That is Dr. Andrea Frazier. And? Have you proposed to her? No. No, that is not true. We are very much friends. Well, Romsonopoulos, it looks like that's all we're going to get out of him on that subject. Thank you. Okay, on to more important news. I want to talk about Calandria. Yes. Calandria? Yes, Calandria. Um. She seems to have become some sort of either urban legend or a very dangerous person. So what do we know about her? The first thing about Calandria is that she's not actually identified. Her voice defies analysis, which means that she's not in our database. How is that possible? Some sort of distortion, or perhaps she's much older than reports claim. And what do we plan to do about her? What is her... What, is her, what are her goals? Has she spoken to the mayor? Well, you see, she has this following of hundreds of our citizens. Um, they seem to be possessed, even controlled by her. That's right. Uh, zombie troopers, I believe that is what the uh, mayor has coined the phrase. And the, the mayor regrets having said that. These are not zombies. These are not mindless, hulking beings. These are intelligent, capable, and dangerous human beings uh, that seem to be unaware of their actions. That's terrifying. It is. And our latest report suggests that these people have infiltrated almost every section of our city. Okay. How close are we to catching her? What are her intentions? She, she's, uh, she seems to be evading us. And she, she sticks to the shadows and we really don't have any idea of what her intentions are. All right. Thank you, Joseph Linus. You've given us a lot to think about. Um, I appreciate you being here. And tomorrow we will be talking more about Calandria. Um, who is she? Is it urban legend or reality? And what do we need to do to catch her? That's all for today, Ramsonopoulos. Be happy and be safe.